it's uh, my family it's my story and i survived that and uh, some members of my family didn't survive it's been 17 years since serbian forces killed 8000 muslim men and boys in the srebrenica massacre but the pain is still fresh for some and i'm here to build up new life but i never gonna forget what happened to my members of family this man lost his child in the chaos of fleeing the bosnian town the site of the worst European massacre of civilians since World War II. Hundreds of Bosnian immigrants like him gathered in St. Louis to remember the victims of a time gone by and demand justice today. Karadzic and Mladic, when you look at their faces and you look at them on the trials and stuff, it's really, they, it's like they don't care, they don't, you know, and the world is still taking so long to, you know, make a decision on, you know, this is genocide or these people are guilty for what they did. I mean, even if you look at Milosevic, it was, his trial was taking forever, and in the end, he ended up dying in jail, and, you know, they never finished his trial. The teenager was too young to remember when his family fled Bosnia's war. He's been watching the trial of former Serbian military chief Ratko Mladic in The Hague, where the International War Crimes Tribunal has charged Mladic with genocide. Still, in South St. Louis, there is peace for some in this Balkan restaurant, a community staple for Bosnians and Serbs. Here, everybody is friends. I come here, we're serving a dissent, been coming here, I don't have problems with anybody. The food's great, like I said, hospitality's great, never had a problem. If there is one passion seemingly shared by all Bosnians, it's soccer. Each summer, the community hosts a soccer tournament to remember the massacre. The money raised funds scholarships for young people who lost parents in the war, turning painful pasts into hopeful futures. Naya Hawkins, Associated Press.